What's up guys, my name's Rob, this is Decoded, and today I'm going to show you a method for blurring textures inside Blender's shading editor. Now, naturally, Blender has no way of blurring a texture map, right? What you would have to do is you'd have to go into this compositing window and you can bring your texture in, like say this image, and you can apply your blur, and then you can save that image out and use it again. Or you can go into Photoshop, blur the image, save it, bring it into Blender, the problem is if the amount of blur you've applied isn't right, let's say you actually needed like twice as much, you'd have to go back, repeat the process, do it again, and it's a bit of a pain. On top of that, it also doesn't work on procedural textures, right? You can't play around with procedural textures and apply the blur at the same time. So this procedural effect that I've got here, I've just got this image and it's just a plane with this texture on, and we're gonna blur this with nodes, okay? So the first node that I'm going to add is a texture coordinate node, okay? And the output we're going to use is going to depend on the sort of texture that you've got. Because my object is UV unwrapped, I'm going to use the UV output. Okay, and then I'm going to add in a, whoops, wrong one. I'm going to add in a mix RGB node. I'm going to use Shift D to duplicate that. And I'm going to add in a noise texture just before it. Okay, so we've got texture coordinate, noise, and two mixed nodes. This is the only nodes we're gonna use here, right? Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the UV output of the texture coordinate node, and we're gonna plug it into the vector. We're gonna set the distortion to like 50. We're gonna put the detail all the way up to 16, which is its highest number. And the scale, we're gonna set to its highest number as well, and that's a million. So one, and then six zeros, okay. Now let's get the factor on this and plug it into either one of these color one, color two slots. Set the factor all the way up to one. Then we're gonna get the output of this first mix node. I'm gonna plug it into the bottom of this mix node over here. We're gonna set the first mix node to subtract and then we're gonna set this one to add. Right, now watch what I'm saying. If we grab the UV and plug that into the top slot of this add node, set the factor all the way to zero, get the color and use that as the vector of the image texture, right? The image is just going straight into a diffuse. Right, if we up the factor on this, I'm gonna hold down shift so I have more control then what starts to happen is you can see the image starts to blur. Basically what's happening here is the uh, the noise texture is splitting it up and then recombining it again slightly off center depending on the, uh, the UV mapping. So you get this really nice blur effect and we can get different types of blur for instance by changing the detail level and the distortion you can get like different blur patterns Okay, but this is the one I like where it's set 100 on distortion, 16 on detail. And you can uh, you can use this in all sorts of different things. For instance, we can use it over here on a bump map. Okay, and it'll work exactly the same. You can blur out bump and normal maps and it looks fine, which is great sometimes if you've got like a, like a rock texture, but it looks a little bit too sharp or um, like a rust texture or something like that, but it's a bit too much and you want to tone it down. But the, the real strength of this method is the fact that it also works procedurally. Like I've got this same setup over here, but instead of an image texture, it's a Voronoi texture set of cells. Okay, this is completely procedural. And we can also apply the blur effect to the procedural texture. So this is the real strength of this because after we've applied the blur, we can still make changes to the texture and it'll all be uh, applied afterwards. So this is a really nice little effect, guys. I've been looking for a long time for a way to do this because I'm always using different blurred textures. If you use this yourself, let me know. Um, please leave a link to your work in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. I put new content up every week.